So what we're going to do today is take this necklace and make it disappear. To begin with, you need to have the resynthesizer plugin installed. Once it is installed, it's going to show up in filters, map, resynthesize. You're also going to have a shortcut for it in enhance, smart remove selection. The plugin can be found at this website. To begin with, we're going to outline the object to be removed using the free select tool. The outline should be fairly loose. So once you've got the object outlined, you're going to go to filters, enhance, smart remove selection. Now you'll see it asks radius to take texture from. We want all of our texture to be taken from the skin and the surrounding area. So we'll go to the measure tool, see about how much we have to take from. You can see this is 367 pixels, which is quite a large picture. So let's round that off to an even 400 and go ahead and click OK. As you can see, it did a very good job of filling in most of the area. It's pretty bad along the edges, and that's something we'll have to clean up. But, I mean, most of the necklace is gone, and it's better than you could have done by hand. So our next step is to clean up what's left over. So we're going to open another copy of the image as a layer. We're going to add a layer mask that makes it completely transparent. And we're going to bring back the bits that we don't like. Or rather, we're going to cover over the ugly parts. And we have a couple of options at this point. We can try to clone over the parts that didn't work out very well, or we could try to resynthesize these again. And I'm going to opt for the latter because I really hate painting stuff by hand. So I'm going to apply this layer mask. I'm going to merge this layer down. I'm going to select the bits that I need removed. And I'm going to Smart Remove Selection again. This time we could probably draw from an even wider area since we've got so much space to work with. And once again just sit back and wait for it to finish. So at this point we're going to do the same thing we did earlier. We're going to open as layers the image that we've been working on. You'll add a layer mask, full transparency, and you'll paint over the bits that didn't work out quite right. And at this point there's really not much to be done besides painting over the parts that still aren't looking right because the resynthesizer plugin just isn't going to get those edges qu done quite right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'll work on correcting this left side of the neck first. So I'll copy a chunk of the neck from a version of the image that hasn't been messed with. I'll paste it onto this layer. Now I'm going to place it properly. So the idea is that it's going to cover over this piece's necklace. So let's rotate it. And rotating will be a lot easier if we cut it down to size. So 
So let's select about what we're working with. Go to layer, crop to selection. So that chunk of necklace is gone, but this patch of skin here doesn't look very right at all. So we're going to need to adjust the color of it and feather the edges a bit. Now we're going to adjust the colors. And it looks like I'm going to have to add another chunk of skin from a lighter part of the neck in order to get this to look right. So I'll go ahead and do that. This one's a little bit different since we're just using it for color and not for establishing the line of the neck, which we already have pretty well done. I'm just going to drop it over for the dark spot we have. Add a layer mask that makes it fully transparent. Now I'm going to select the layer mask. I'm going to get a paintbrush on white. I'll set the opacity quite low to start off with. Start lightening this until it blends properly. And we'll do the same basic technique with the other side. So we make the second paler layer completely transparent and now we're going to paint it over it. Well now we're going to make parts of it opaque again by selecting the layer mask and painting over it with white. And that about wraps it up. It's not perfect, I could have done better, but you can definitely see the power of the resynthesize tool. I took that necklace and made it completely go away. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two pictures. I've smoothed out some angles that were visible on the neck with the eye warp tool. And I also fixed a little bit of blotchiness left over from the resynthesizer. But uh, that's it. This is what we're left with. It looks clean, it looks great, Resynthesizer does an excellent job. Please post any questions you have in the comments. I'll take suggestions for other tutorials to do in the future. Thanks for watching.